Hello, gamers. Oh, sheesh. Welcome back to another amazing live stream. But you are truly, how are we all doing today? Oof, me? It's been rough. It's been rough. Um, after, after I left uh, Kylie and Festive and Moon's streams, I, you know, I had to go, I had to go get ready to do my thing, cook my dinner, and, uh, you know, it was a partial flop, but, you know, it wasn't too bad. You know, listen, listen, uh, we'll, we'll get into it in a minute, but let me grab my water bottle, because I always forget to do that at the start of the stream, so just, um, sit there for a second while I grab my water. Y'all, my water needs ice. You guys mind if I go get some ice for my water? <laughs> y'all mind? Y'all mind? Oh, I'll be right, right back, real, real fast. Look at this, look at this silly little picture of of QM and Callan. It's great. I'm back, you guys, but I'm I haven't sat down yet. I'm just in the room. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, oopsie daisy. <laughs> Hello, Dex. Hello. Oh my god, what did I Oh no, my pedal. Are you okay? Did I run this over? Oopsies. There we go. Sorry, what are the what are the rose petals that I had? Uh I, I dropped it earlier and then I forgot to pick it up. Anyways, scuff start, but it's fine. <laughs> Hello, Black Blue. Yep, today we are playing Night in the Woods. Let me give you desktop audio. Mute, low-fi beats, minimize this, minimize. Minimize this. Oh my goodness. I swear, everybody does everything when I'm streaming. Like, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> There we go. There we go. But yeah, today today was my first time cooking like a real steak. Scammed, no honk. I'm so sorry. I had my desktop audio off. I'll I'll honk for you. I hate to, hold on, let me drag this over here. Where is it? Did you do a honker bonk? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Honk for you. Yeah, today was my first day or first attempt at cooking a real steak and girl fear. Oh, I have to do this part again? I thought I saved before this, but that's fine. I guess this will be a good recap for anybody who missed the last one. 
timing for blood to flow or something, frogs? Oh, hey, yo. <laughs> I'm laying down in a way that I can't... I can feel my heart in my throat, but the beat on my throat and my chest don't add up. I'm confused. I would say, well, I mean, you know, your heart is doing one thing, and then by the time it gets to your throat, it's, it's in a different rhythm, you know? So yeah, timing for blood to flow or something sounds about right. <clears throat> but yeah, my, my steak, um, it turned out okay after the first one. I kind of ruined one, but that we won't talk about that. And I didn't burn it. I like undercooked it, but like if I had put it back on, it would have burned. You know what I'm saying? So the other ones, uh, apparently like the flavor and stuff was good. Had a good crust, a good crust. But like I need to cook it like a minute less. It was a little too well done. I don't want well done. I kind of want like medium rare. Was it still pink? Yeah, I was on the on the inside, but like the outside would have been like burnt. You know what I mean? <laughs> and maybe maybe I'm like Doctor Who and I have two hearts, but I'll stick with Anarchy's lol. Crust sparkle emoji. <laughs> no, but yeah, so we we got so distracted by the steaks that we burnt the rice that we were cooking. Um so we had to toss out that rice and do new one. And I didn't really like this kind. It was kinda gross. But anyways, enough about me complaining about my rice can burn. Um, because the way that we were cooking it was like in a like a skillet with butter. No, we don't have a rice cooker. And it wasn't like white rice, it was like like rice aroni. I don't know if y'all if if everybody knows what that is. Yeah, it wasn't like just plain white rice. It was like that boxed rice. Well, <laughs> I love a rice aroni, yeah. It was it was like the stir frying kind too, so it would have been like mad good, which is why like you do it in a skillet. But yeah, because we were, what what it has you do is, like, you you put, like, I think the rice and the butter, and you kind of, like, kind of, like, fry the rice a little bit, and then you add the water and let it cook. But we got distracted by, like, the steak, because the steak, I put too much oil. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people who are like, can you just start the game, please? Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I put too much oil, so, like, it was popping at me. And so we were sitting there, like, trying to stop the oil from popping and getting all over the place and then we forgot about the rice and so it burnt and um yeah we you had two mentally ill people about to throw a temper tantrum in the kitchen <laughs> but you know in the end it, it, it was okay it was all right <laughs> so we know for next time kind of what to do because like i said it was my first time cooking like a thick steak all the steak that we had before was just like the thin steak so like you literally once one side 30 seconds the other time other side like maybe a minute if not like another like 45 seconds that it's like really flip flip you're done but like with a with a whole steak i was like girl i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Anyone, anyone order one burnt down house? Me, <laughs> perfect because I can't cook anything else. Oh my gosh! Listen, I was saying, I this is uh, I've been on a journey, a cooking journey for the past few weeks. I don't know, a few weeks or a couple weeks. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so I've been struggling, but we've been getting through it. Like you know, uh, my mom was saying she was like, "Girl, you're not, you're gonna burn something eventually. It's not that big of a deal. Like, how else are you gonna learn if you don't make mistakes?" And it's like, as cheesy as it sounds, it's like, it's true. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's there's a chance you can get it right on the first try. But like, if you don't get it right, then you get it wrong. And you know what to do for next time. Anyways, me getting off my soapbox. And also me taking off my chef hat. Because I'm done with cooking until tomorrow. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Instead, we're going to do our game. And we're going to have fun, okay? I needed Night in the Woods. Because I needed something where I didn't have to think too, too hard because I was tired. I was like, I don't, I don't want to think. <laughs> That's why you got to take it serious. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's the best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn how to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. 
Mace works too. Mace against fascists. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye, boys. They seem nice. I love May. She's so little. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah? Can you dance, May? Mace the Medieval Englander? No! We went through this last time. Not mace as in spiky ball, mace as in spray. <laughs> it's funny because I think Black Blue said last time that they thought, or I forget who it was, somebody said they thought of uh, like mace the, like, the weapon, not the spray. The last time we did this part, because uh, we did do this part before. I just, you know, making this suit again. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh. Mace as in mace wind. Can, like, anyone here dance? Mace is not a big odd knife. A mace is like uh, a spiky ball made out of metal on a stick. But mace, the spray, is like a, a mix of different spicy things that you spray in somebody's eyes so they can, it would hurt and they don't attack you. Yeah, okay. Fuck it up. I get to do the different dances this time. I'm gonna twerk, I'm gonna twerk. I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away with an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously. If any, be. I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing it back, throwing it back, throwing it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the tiptoes now. Go back to twerking, yeah! Shake ass, shake ass. Listen, this is the real music, just. Oh, oh my fellas! Oh my fellas! Oh. Dancing is easy, what's the big fuss? Aw, oh, but I can't dance anymore. Yeah, hitting that E dance, lol. I forgot to talk to people. Oh, there we go. Hey there. The wise kitten focuses not on that which is lost, but on all that remains. Okay, w wow. You just hanging out in the back of the party? Dishing out wisdom? Alright, well, I'll keep that in mind. Have a good one. Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? May Borowski, Samantha Stevenson. I don't- what if they've heard of, like, my actual name? But what if they know a Samantha Stevenson- I'm just gonna say my name. 
Broski. Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, May Broski? I'm a grad student studying uh, vampires on a play base. I'm a college dropout, a ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I don't like how eager B is to talk to those boys. I know, you know what I think? I think she's trying to take her mind off of me, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's like, man, I like May so much, but I don't know if May likes me, so, you know, I'm gonna distract myself with somebody else. That's what I'm believing anyways. <clears throat> Sorry, I was taking a drink. Exactly. She's rebounding before she's even been rejected. Exactly. Exactly. 100%. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around jumbled bits of history or something. Like, it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure it, kid it like, kidnapped someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it, but I have this thing going on in my head, and I dropped out of college, and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance, and then I saw you. <clears throat> I've never just listed all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. Haha, <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh, alright. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Secret handshake. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Broski? <laughs> it's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell friend location. <laughs> I'll be here. Wow, okay. Be right back. But the thing is, I'm not coming back. <clears throat> she should just take the plunge and confess to May. <laughs> call Tan, call Tan. Jesus, May hasn't taken a single sip yet and she's already, she already sounds drunk. <laughs> Listen, that's just May normally, I think. Maybe also May being socially awkward with a person who randomly gave her a handshake. What if I just left? I went home. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, Memento Mori and shit? Dude. Unis Honest reference? I'm kidding. <laughs> Until Dawn reference? DVD reference? <laughs> <clears throat> What's that? Yeah, yeah, sick tra <laughs> transit glory and nerd. <laughs> What's that? A uh, uh, Memento Mori Persona 3? <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to call them a nerd. Or maybe, I don't know, would they like that? I don't even know what she means by this. Sick Transit Gloria? What was that? Which option do you think I should go for? Also, does the game feel really loud today? Because it kind of feels loud to me. I can't just tell if it's just this room and this music. I'll say, what's that? Remember, you're gonna die. Jeez, does anyone need help with that? Ha <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Haha, <laughs> well, a book you liked? 
like ghost stories. <clears throat> if you don't understand something, don't say it. Fair enough, I guess. Maybe slightly louder than normal. That's what I thought. I was like, why does this shit sound like hella loud? I used to be a big reader. And then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me. Before he got dementia and died. <laughs> Wait, I can't I can't bring up the options, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just tried. Ew, be is trying way too hard with these boys. I know, like they're not even cute, dude. <clears throat> I don't know what would be cute, but like it it's not them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. Damn! <laughs> May, why do you just say these things? <laughs> why is she like this? <laughs> May, May, stop! I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. When my house exploded, because there was a gas leak, front of my dad hit a line, trying to dig up the dog we had before that, because we were going to move, and dad said he had to come with us. Wow. <laughs> so, Chris, what are you majoring in? Holly sigh. Guys. Not to say anything bad about poli sci majors, but yeah, they usually look like that. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, they are soulmates. Wait, who? <laughs> you know what I just realized? This music is kind of reminding me a little bit of... Um, like Donner but two music. Not this part, but the part before it. Polish science? No, it's political science. <laughs> That's what poli sci is political science. Both say very out of context TMI concerning shit. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, dude, true. Yeah, right. It kind of, it kind of is giving me that that Don Rumba two energy. <laughs> Whoopsies. It's okay. Holly side. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because, haha! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Check out rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just cause something's interesting. Be, be, check out this dude. There, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm. Yes. Well, I bagged groceries. <laughs> okay. Haha, <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Sure. Nah, I'm good. I'll say sure. I'm, I'm catching the hint. I'm, ca I'm getting the hint, bro. And I'm not trying to ruin things with B any more than I probably already have. <laughs> you should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Oh, tell me about it? I know a bit about running a small business. Sorry, I wasn't even reading that in the big voice. <clears throat> I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? Maybe I should have interfered. But then she would have been mad at me. So like, do I interfere and have her be mad at me? Or do I not interfere and then have them go off together? Like, I guess I'll kill myself, you know? I could eat and it's a small business. You'll speak their language, just get us free slices. B doesn't like spo oh sorry, that's me. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids chalk.
I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> Man, no. What even is Possum Springs? It's west, in the mountains. While rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. Bees out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May? What? Ha 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 I'm kinda over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Why am I just talking a whole lot of shit right now? Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah, I got a problem with that. Maybe it's just mad jealous, listen. To be fair, I would. Like, first of all, you're like trying to get with somebody that's not me, and it's these fucking losers. That's that's cringe, B. That's cringe. <clears throat> yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh, why would you do that? Hey, Rick, B drove in here from, uh, drove in from Deep Hollow. Are you not a student? Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm, haha. <laughs> B, wait! Why did her eyes <laughs> turn red? <laughs> what was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Are May and B the same age? Yes. I think they're the same age or like around the same age. What did you do? Girl, I didn't do nothing. Uh, she's out here killing herself over some crusty, dusty man. Like, if she's not gonna get with me, like, she could do so much better than whatever that poli -sci weirdo is. <clears throat> Papa Tease. I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. Okay, geez. All right, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down toward the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and be back here. Okay, God, okay. Oh, I thought I was going that way. Back in school, I always, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you, B? The roofs. The roofs. Can get to the river quick on the roofs. No, Mage is short. <laughs> hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on that roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza put a pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna probably make you eat this entire car. And I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt? Physically? I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. I won't, but thanks. Fuck you in your car. Bro, that girl... 
not just high, high attitude as well. She hasn't really had a chance to really like grow up, honestly. How do I get up here? Okay, there we go. I could go up there, but maybe I missed. I don't know. Damn, I fell. Now I'm taking the low road. I flopped, you guys. <clears throat> Listen, you know what? They may have called me an asshole, but she was literally changing herself to, like, fit in with these guys. Like, you... Like, you know, she can call her an asshole all she wants, but, like, you're the one who's, like, changing yourself for a man. No! <laughs> B, there you are. You all right? Why did you run? That was, like, extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. You don't even know what... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these. So I can feel normal. For like two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so friggin' sad. I think, like, obsessively about going to college. Like, really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already is, like, my wildest fantasy. I don't know what to say. I don't I don't know if there is a right answer. What do you guys think? I mean cuz like I don't know. Maybe 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 I kind of feel that way cuz like maybe I feel more towards May because I'm kind of like that unemployed friend right now but it's like i get the life that you have sucks but at least you have a life may has nothing she's a college dropout living with her parents no job no nothing like at least you can live you know that's how i view it anyways You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown and the bills from mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment as my dad wastes away. And like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. That's not fair. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm just doomed. 
You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kind of hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know anything about it. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever been asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. Ugh. Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry. About, like... It's okay. We're, like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh, God. What river is this? Red winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their color. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Mm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town like we were stuck together in girl scouts like uh is this just what's the word proximity yeah i don't know honestly don't my entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while i stay in the same place and i guess proximity counts for a lot right now Hmm. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. I'll learn to talk good. I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh good, thanks. But you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I am, like, more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're, like, stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big of a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes. I know that. But you're a genuinely good person. I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucin fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh, wow. A revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap, I didn't get her info. Who? That super cute girl I met at the party. We did a secret handshake. Oh, that was a girl. My fault. And you thought she was cute? What the fuck? Tonight is not going how I thought it would. <laughs> These two feel so perfect for each other, but in a toxic kind of way. No, I literally get you so hard. Also, I was not picking up that, that that May was interested. I thought we were freaked out. I didn't know it was a girl either. We did a secret handshake? Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again.
Bombshell. Bombshell, bro. Listen. You can't... I can't... I, I'm legally not allowed to ship anything that's not... May and B. You know, one of these pages would probably be me and my mom. Hey, Dad. Oops. Okay, there we go. Turn the music down so damn loud. Oh my god, can I hit the right button, please? Hi. Hello. Oh wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams... And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. I think, May, you need a therapist. <laughs> I feels That feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But, like... Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kidding, it's okay. And that's not even counting the money problems. Yeah. Money problems make everything worse. I know it. And I can't do anything about it. I don't even know if I could hold down a job. And how am I ever going to survive? And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> <sighs> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Dude, I need some Garbo and Malloy. I need some- I need it. Malloy! Garbo? Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. <laughs> Why, Garbo, do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I was just hoping anyone's watching at this time slot. <laughs> there are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. <laughs> you were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Y'all could, Malloy. But it would be... A whoppa! <laughs> So funny, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. This is too on the nose for the situation I'm in. Fuck, there's a massive thunderstorm here. Hope my power doesn't go out. Jeez. I wonder. I mean, I don't know what state you live in, so I guess I wouldn't know. I would say, because the sun is still out here where I am. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Bro, you know what I need? I need a little uh, Midwest emo. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, let me check my... Messages first. Girl, I wish I went out with Greg instead. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. Then dancing really takes it out of you. That's, like, really... 
That's like really nice, May. How you did that? Aw, was nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. Wait, did we even tell that other girl that they were fine? I can think of worst fates. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow. Sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. I don't like the other girl. We don't need to tell her. Yeah, she was like so mean about me. Like, you don't even know me. Okay, what do we want to play? Space Dragon, Die Anywhere Else, which is a song that we always play, but I love it. <laughs> Cycles, Weird Autumn, TikTok, or Pumpkinhead Guy. What are we in the mood for? And if you ask me what any of them sound like, I could not tell you. The only one I could tell you is Die Anywhere Else. Weird Autumn, okay. Granted, I'm not saying I'm going to be good at these. Oh god. I hit triangle instead of X. Sometimes, like, when I'm doing rhythm games, I'll just stop focusing and then I'll mess up because I'm, like, not paying attention. Or sometimes I'll become too aware of what I'm doing and suddenly I forget, like, where all the buttons are. Because I'm like, Wh where are my hands? I just straight up didn't hit that one. Like, I just didn't press anything. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> not bad, considering I don't know how to play this song. Alright. Let's go to sleep. Bedtime? Bedtime. Also, I don't like that we, like, that, like, me is like, oh my god, there's this new girl, and I'm like, you better not ever see her again or I'm gonna get pissed. Wake up. Hello, May. Listen, I'm just glad that we're... That we were not drunk last night. Because that would have been, made things so much worse. <clears throat> Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Come pick your fight, give give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see blank tones next week. Oh my god.
All right, let's go. Hey, Mom. Good morning. There's my little sunshine, Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems. And these, and the house. And I'm just so sorry. You, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. <laughs> Look at her little frowny face, May. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I've got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. I love you. Love you too. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. Alright, let's go. Oh god, L listen, why did I have the same reaction? I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's mall cop on. Oh god. What do you want? <laughs> oh god, what? I don't... I still don't know what accent... Uh, not accent, but um, voice to give her. Hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know... We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man and a medium build, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You you always liked to... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Listen, I'm living a detective story. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in- Okay, she is Southern. I did give her a Southern accent one time. But... Then I was like, I don't know what she- Wasn't no ghost involved in this. I don't know what voice to give her, because like- <laughs> If she wasn't in the cop outfit, I'd probably give her one voice, but she's in it, so I'm like, I can't imagine a cop sounding like this. You know what I mean? Like, the voice that I literally was giving her two seconds ago, I was like, I, th I don't like the voice that I'm using right now, because it doesn't feel like a voice that a cop should have. I, but, like, I don't know, I don't know what that is, it just wasn't that. Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Okay, see you later. Girl, I need... Why? Everyone's so cryptic. I'm like, hey, Selmer Elmer. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you running out... Running around? 
It's officially Kylie's birthday in T-Land. Oh my god, happy birthday to Kylie. I'm just literally not even in the call right now, but it's fine. <laughs> or call. I'm not in any call. She's not in the stream, I bet. I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars. Sorry. I don't know if that said star stars or star stars. Anyways. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. It's true. Oh, sorry. It's true. They are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. You notice anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Listen, on longest night, I can guarantee some shit's about to go down. And I'm not ready. I'm actually scared, low-key. Weird as in ghost man, missing kids. I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is stinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Bro, you guys need to stop being so cryptic. You're scaring me. You're scaring me! Ah, damn it. Squirrels are trying to fight me. Damn it, I miss. Girl, every time I try to, like, jump on this wire, because you can, I've done it before, I, like, I'm always like, how do I, how did I do that before? What the f- How did I do this? Okay, it's like- Hold on, do I have to- I forget if I just have to run, or if I have to run and jump. get up there. <laughs> Bruh, flop. It's fine. Alright, church first. Like, I just realized it makes more sense to hit the church when I'm coming back from the woods than the other way around. OMG, my power really did go out. No! I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing out here? Wonder where Bruce has got to. Beats me. He's kind of transient though, right? I mean, he wasn't like renting the woods. No, no he wasn't. God damn this world. Okay, so, well, I'll see you later. Well, nothing crazy over here. Can a pastor say that? I mean, I doubt May's gonna protest. <laughs> you 
You know, I like never look at this statue. I don't know if it has different dialogue every day. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Fair enough. But I feel like they normally wouldn't, and that's why, like, she's at her wit's end. And that's how you can tell. She's taking the Lord's name in vain. Well, I guess she's not gonna be in here, so. And yeah, I'd go in here because I'm like, what if, like, there's something on the ground I can pick up or look at? And there never is, and yet I still do it. Hello, Mom. I can't jump on this counter? See, you can't resist coming here. That's God's calling you. That, that's God calling you. God's. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing the scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with game <laughs> with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, Mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Back doors... Door back there's unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Let's fucking go. Yippee! We can finally go in here. <clears throat> Oh my god. She's falling asleep. She's sleepy. A go 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 ghost! Dude, is this my dead grandpa? Bomb ass snap. I think that was my dead grandpa, bro. Hey, violin man. I keep pressing triangle. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we've met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. <clears throat> Excuse me, birdie. Damn it. Sorry, Mr. Squirrel. Can I not jump up here? Okay, we'll try again. It's faster to jump on them. Ripley's, believe it or not. 
<clears throat> hey, rat kid. You okay? Yeah. I'm like, only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Hey, thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. Mmm. 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 May, you okay? Mmm. May! Oh, sorry, spaced out there for a second. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably? Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Rip. May's getting very, like, existential. She's telling her family she loves them. Like, if this was my friend, I'd be like, girl, don't kill yourself. <laughs> it's not worth it. <clears throat> She's like, whatever happens, mom, I love you. Like, what are you saying that for? I'm still sick, so, so the I'm like half here hits hard. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, stop hitting. Triangle? Why are you hitting triangle, bro? Oh, we get another hangout. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Are you up for the park trip? Nah. Yeah. I think I do want to hang out with Angus today. But I, I still want to check out everything before I... Commit, bro. Dude, guys, remember when we went on the trash expedition? I hope we can do that again. That was fun. I want the trash man to be here again. The black with the guy with the boat. The butter dog. Dog with the butter. I haven't seen that old lady in a minute. I hope she's good. Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. I'll always listen. <clears throat> I'm thinking about the, um... The mural that's trapped on the other side that like nobody can see and like that does hit hard like when when may was just standing there i was like i feel that because there's something there's something about it that's like this thing is it, i guess it's the human mind like personifying things that aren't alive or real because <clears throat> it's like this mural that somebody worked so hard to paint is trapped here on this wall alone and nobody can ever see it and it's just like in the dark and I'm one of like the very few people who has seen this since like this incident happened and I don't know human brain's weird where it's like it cooks that shit and it's like that's sad <laughs> <clears throat> well that's it shipping out tomorrow can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. The kids excited? Oh yeah, they, they'll, they'll love it. Might take a while. <laughs> well, 
Yep. Yep. Dude, they're breaking up. This this is Oh my god. This game is just about this, thing, this game hurts too much sometimes. Like I love this game, but they be hitting that like existential shit and all that deep stuff and I'm like stop making me think about things, please, please. Like it's too relatable. Like there I feel like there's there's at one like at least one character that you can relate to usually. Did I just sound southern then? I'm not southern, you guys. I live in New England. I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like I sound southern. I don't know why. Maybe just one oh, so <clears throat> But I'm supposed to sound southern when I'm talking about these guys. <laughs> Cause I, I they they are southern. <laughs> Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. One more what? Go Schmelters! <laughs> yep. Dude, they're breaking up. Like, this is so sad. Like, everything's changing. Freaking, um... Greg is leaving with Angus. So, like, I better... Better get my Greg and Angus time in, I suppose. Let me go see if Germ is here. Germ! So much unexpected sadness, for real. I can't remember if I asked you this already, but would you? Uh, what would you do if someone asked you to voice in a video game? Um, I feel like maybe you did ask me this, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember either. I mean, I would definitely be willing, but I feel like I'm not good enough to do voices <laughs> in a video game. It would be epic, though. <clears throat> hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem... something, too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. No prob. I gotta get home. Where do you live? <laughs> Across the parking lots, up the hill. Back in the woods. Huh. I've never been back there. I have. Yes, you have. See ya. Oh, bye, germ. Could I get to his house? I want to go there, man. Germ, let me see your house. Ah, finally. What the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's go see Gregory. Gregory. Way to go, Superstar. And then if I ever if I ever want to try to do like a Gregory voice, I have to first go, Cassie! <laughs> because in my head, that's the only Gregory line I remember. <laughs> Cassie, you have to get out of there. That's not me. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. How you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feels like I've barely slept, even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I like how even Greg's like, girl, are you good? What the heck? <laughs> Not good enough. Your face voices are more realistic than a real god dang voice. <laughs> Fake voice. Oh. <laughs> My real god dang voice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Gregory, I'm Empreg and you're, ch you're my child, Freddy Fast Falls AO. Gregory. <laughs> No, I'm not okay, though. I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Wake me up somehow? <laughs> Wake me up somehow? Hey. 
Whoa. Wake up. Oh yeah, I'm awake now. So what are you up to today? Just saying hey. You wanna check out that historical study? Just saying hey. Hey. I'm gonna I wanna I wanna do Angus Day. I wanna do Angus Day. Guys, the saddest thing is we never got to go to possibilities. And I know I said I want to go to Angus, but I did not visit B at all. And I just want to say hey. And the only reason why I didn't say hi to her before is because I thought I was going to hang out with B. Um, but we're not. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache. Had a headache for a few days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to get, like, veg out pretty well. No, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Oh, my God. Ghost? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go to Angus. Rah! I still don't really have a good Angus voice. I feel like his, his, like the voice that he should have is something that I could never achieve just because like, I don't have like that deep voice. S yes, I want to go to the park. Park. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Uh, well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Guys, I... <laughs> <laughs> QM is real. Trust. He's right here. He's right here speaking to you. Well, speaking to you with my voice. Tee -hee. If anybody ever asked me, like, oh, what do you think, like, this ghost would sound like? Honestly, I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I have voices, but maybe, maybe I'll try to find some. Like, this is what I imagine they would maybe sort of sound like. Oh, sorry. I need to readjust my seat. I guess for you guys, I don't know, maybe you just think that Q up sounds like me just because I, I, obviously, he's my PNG. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, I need evidence. Dude, we're about to sh Dude, we're Shane and Ryan. Back when they were BuzzFeed Unsolved, though, not Watcher. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. <laughs> Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast <laughs> about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to ghostly, <laughs> Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. Dude, <laughs> literally, let's fucking go. The park, the park. To be honest, I never thought about what the various ghosts sound like before. Yeah, I'm like, do they have voices, or do they talk like like animal crossing characters or like 
um like when when they do like the little beeping sounds for like dialogue I think they had that in like the OG 999 because they didn't have voices it's like and it's like all you know higher or lower depending on who's talking nice evening yeah it's all right my mom used to take me, uh, take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I could move. Posted. Do not feed or touch. The wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. <laughs> Listen, there's the there's the real answer, and then there's. <sighs> but it's like, like yeah, well, clearly. But I'm like, damn. If not friend, why friend shaped? Frankenstein is the doctor, not the not the monster. Listen, you think May would know that though? Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Come on, Angus. Wait, can I go up this hill? Okay, no, I can't. Angus. Angus, wait. He's like a whole head taller than May. Literally. <sighs> you yeah, alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you had asthma, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Yeah, but I never finished a race. Why'd you keep doing it? I have no idea. Was it this thing? This is like... A lime kiln, I think? Limes? Kiln? Limestone. You like, do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because... It's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. From millions of years ago. So like... That was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right here where we're standing, there was like a horrible ancient sea monster. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I thought he meant, like, go, go, like, leave. Damn, wait, he's kind of hauling out for a second. <laughs> Poor Angus. Sorry, bud. Ooh. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No problem. Ooh. <sighs> so, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? Where'd the water go? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. And, like, the earth is always shifting. So mountains get all pushed up. Where it used to be just flat ground. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool.
Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature, rock, or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back in school. Went up and... It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. I love dinosaurs. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the bil uh, the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Don't- Oh, you better have your, like, inhaler or something. Oh my god, it's literally nighttime. What the F? Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be- ah. It used to be open back then. Hello, bot. <laughs> hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Alright. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forgot. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard? Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Shark bones. Wow, we're up really high. And really far out. Can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. Ow, I hurt my thingy. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellation- the constellations like you did. Ugh! It's cozy! It's cozy. Gotta get cozy, my little blinky. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, no, no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night night- or the, the, At that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. 
I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations and you tell me about them. Okay, then. Damn, May, are you good, girl? Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chaskov? Yeah, a science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. <laughs> How do I, like, attach it? I'm confusion? I don't know how I was doing it. goes back. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... Remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was stuck enough that he jumped... Oh, he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. Shigma.
Oh, is there more? Oh, there is more. Lol. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all like uh, astronauts and something else that I skipped accidentally. That sounds really funny. Eh. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone uh, really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we keep making like the same shape. It's a whale. It's got like the world on its back. Oh well, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it just always was that way. Oof. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like these specifically. We saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye, looking at you. Oh, that's uh... I know this one a little from like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high enough, it's always looking at all of us, right? God damn. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are, are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? No, don't believe in ghosts. Or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever... Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. So, like, wouldn't, she wouldn't, like, feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. How did 
didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at, the, at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors or, or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I was like... I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? And guess that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's... Or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me for- ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or god. So like I feel like I'd been if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to believe in god or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist. And that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So, I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a, give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> hell no! Did you eat? I'm gonna ask you again. Did you eat? Help! Help! Help me! Help! I did not. I also didn't notice because I was like, "Don't look at him," and I was like, "Huh?" And I immediately looked at that. Oh my god. Y'all, while we ruminate in this, um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick BRB while you listen to the spooky music ambiance, um, cause I have to piss so damn bad. Um, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Don't leave me in here with them. <laughs> oh. There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Do they do low-key look like a skeleton? Girl, it's the Stitch Wraith! Get down! <laughs> low-key, that scared me. <laughs> Guys, do you remember I added this, that sound, the, the SCP lights off sound so long ago. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, obviously I must have added it after the first time we played, um, 3008 on the Roblox. On the blocks! <laughs> That's crazy. Like, he hell no, bro. Also, the Stitch Wraith is from <laughs> the, the Five Nights at Freddy's. I think it's, I don't know if it's the Fazbear Frights or the um, Pizza Plex one series, but there's like little ending stories that string together in each book about, uh, Basically, like a animatronic endoskeleton in like a cloak with a hood, and it literally looks just like that, bro. It's a citrate, but animal. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat, like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the fucking ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well? Exter Mooney says Luna, Luna I'm afraid, why is there a man in the trees? <laughs> WTF is that, he he his legs half gone, is it wearing glasses? Why it's neck broken, I don't like this. I don't think it's wearing glasses, I think it's tall. I don't know. I don't think it's neck is broken, but it could be. Maybe that's how it died, I don't know. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! Mate, no! I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma... I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. <gasps> His posture is worse than me, man. The fuck you mean? <laughs> I think his head's, like, tilted back. I don't know. All right. Rawr! I would have pushed him just to see what would happen. Cause like, what if he grabbed you when we ran past? Stop. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He literally let us get, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. I should have played running and running, you're right. Oh! <laughs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it, that was the ghost. Or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from here. There. Why does nobody. Oh my god, what's happening to me? I'm tripping out. What's happening to me? I'm having a mental breakdown. What just happened? Ah! May. Ah! 
What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Oh, my head. Jeez. Okay, well, let's get you home. No! I need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. <laughs> oh shit, my sub. <laughs> oh, it was you, Robin. It was you all along. Oh my gosh. Look at me crouched on the floor. I'm just a little guy. Oh my god. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. There's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up. When we go out to, like, investigate it. Or all of those times it could have just been a random person. No, I can, like, feel it. In my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? Because <laughs> you're mentally unwell. Wait, Greg and Angus are dating, right? Yes, they are. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50... Huh? huh? Twitch baby we eat. Yo, our Twitch baby is birthed. Oh my god, you guys. Happy nine months. Twitch Prime sub from Promise Potion, aka Robin. <laughs> oh, it's a baby. Is it a girl or a boy? Or is it, a, is it they them? <laughs> There are, like, 50 better explanations for all of this. Like, what? You have, like, sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out and made you stress out. I get migraines. And, May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Huh? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts. But I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's book. We're outlaws. The Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. All right, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Thoughts? Thought Angus is psychic, <laughs> but has hat block. But his hat blocks it. <laughs> what? No clues, but Angus saw him too. Ooh. Dude, I have so many blank pages. It makes me mad. <laughs> okay, gang. Let's go! Yo, guys, wait, I'm gonna pause on this bridge. Thumbnail? Thumbnail? Oh my god, you guys? How have I never been back up here? Fences work.
Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. I like that we walk in unison, obviously. Because it's a video game. But just stop. Hut! One, two, one, two, one, two, stop! <laughs> I want to eat this little brownie I have. Wow. <laughs> what squad doesn't? What, walk in sync? <laughs> Should call Cadence. Who? Gotta, <clears throat> gotta put all of this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this uh, from when you were twelve, Greg? Cadence, it's like a song chant you do so everyone keeps in step. Oh, true. Wait, what song could we do? <laughs> yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's, it's here every night when you go to sleep. So. It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. So old. So old. Look at her little shaking head. Dude, hey, May. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. I like how this this really highlights the height of everybody. <laughs> like, can they see over the fence or not? I, for one, cannot. Do me, my boys. <laughs> baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark. What the? Huh? Oh my god. What the? And I cannot stress this enough. Sigma. No! No! Aw, oh, hell. He's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No! No, guys! Aw, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. It wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But... But I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. 
They will be completely taken care of. He'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice. I'd appreciate it if you stopped playing a guilt trip on us. Girl, what are they doing? No! No, no, no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if... All right, he's free. Lerv. Ah! The most polite mafia shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. They're doing cult shit. Lerv, ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Ah! I... Oh, hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lerv. Ugh, God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Why do they know it's me, like, immediately? Run! Oh, shit! Oh, God, am I gonna have to do some fucking parkour? Shit, they know. Like, why do they know it's me? Am I supposed to jump over those rocks? Oh, I am. Lol. Sorry, I didn't realize I could do anything. No, I did not trip over that. Stop capping right now. Part four, the end of everything. Hmm. Nice. I'm sorry, did they just make me disappear? Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Huh. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at that smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Germ hangs with us sometimes. Alright, well. Oh, why am I playing B with Tolling on? Hold on, let me eat the rest of my brownie though at least. My little sweet treat. Sorry. I need my brownie. Hopefully you guys can read. <laughs> Hopefully I wasn't going too fast. I was reading it in my head though. So. Ugh. Big guy. Dirty coat. Girl, what's going on right now? I'm illiterate. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't miss much. It's okay. Uh, big guy. Dirty coat. Or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. Okay, so... Got brownies. Got sodas. Want some brownies? Dude, yes. I'm having brownies right now. And, yeah. Maybe a lasagna? Las lasagna? I found one in the freezer. Why all the food? I need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared or worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's gotta take care of you. Oh my god, he's so mama bear. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Is this back before May got here? 
No, I think something happened to us. I don't know if I, like, flopped that that mini game or if that was just going to happen regardless. Like, that was scripted to happen. You know what I mean? I don't know what's going on. Uh, no more than anyone else. So that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump. Yep. Were those guys, like, that guy? Yep, sort of. He had a hat. Huh. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I... Do you cook it frozen? I don't know, Angus. What the fuck? Everyone seems to be ignoring the issue. Yeah, they're copium. Coping hard, bro. I'm so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. Sorry. That's harsh. I'll screw around. I'll screw around. That's the spirit. So, no word from her parents. Nope. Did you leave a message? Yep. This game has a... <clears throat> this game has a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to, like, half the bands on it. We're going to see the Blank Tones in a few days. Where we were. I don't know. Guys, this is a... Sorry, now I'm mixing fucking her voice with the fucking Alan voice. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm... Wait, everybody shut up. <laughs> Hello? What? <laughs> Sorry, I had to press X, I think. I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. Oh, girl, my, my controller is shaking. Girl, what the fuck? I'm going. Oh, oh god. Where the F am I? My controller is vibrating.
God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out. And know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And she loved to hear about them. She... I am sorry. It can be difficult. Am I fucking dead, bro? Anyone else? Like, I'm not dead. Like, I'm just like not even in a casket, bro. They slayed my dead body on the... By the few. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and... I just think it's not fair. That May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Salma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she learns... She, I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down at the end of the... something. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and... She must have fallen off... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. And it takes... All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Okay, we were not in a church. We're in a hospital... That makes more sense. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. <laughs> the house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Wait, is the janitor God? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think God is in all of us or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Girl. Girl, what's going on right now? I feel like I'm on crack. Ugh. Girl, are they gonna let me at the house? What this actual signal? I can't even jump. Well, while we're, while we're on our walk, maybe I'll have a have a. Listen, it's like in Persona when your confidants um <laughs> talk about you.
Oh my god. B. Oh my god. May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life again. <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking Germ is still gaming. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sun is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So, she just, like, wandered out of her house. Yeah, all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. It's so rare to see B wide eyed. Literally, I was like, she, I was like, she looks so weird. I feel like Greg looks weird too for some reason. I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. Both of you, shh. So how, so how well do you know this guy? Oh, who, Germ? No, Germ's chill, I think. Dude, if Germ turns out to be bad, I'm gonna be sad. And that's poetry, baby. We order pizza, what? Twice a week? At least. That's so much pizza. I want pizza. Not gonna lie, pizza would slap right now. From out by the the highway, now that possibility or since bit, 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 bit. let me start over. Back it up. From out, <laughs> nope. From out by the highway, now that now since possibilities goes down. Fuck you! I hate doing Greg's voice. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyles, B. Okay, well, just as long as you are sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, <clears throat> sorry. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. All right, well, as long as there is a plan. <laughs> Hold on, take a breath, try again. Listen, sometimes my ability to speak sentences gets taken away. But you know what? It is what it is. Dude, but I really want pizza. This is fucked. Oh, uh, do you guys remember if anybody was here when we first started playing this game? We went out as a group. Germ was not there, though. Um, we went out, out as a group and got pizza. And... The only slice left was for Angus, but he couldn't reach the pizza slice because it was too far away. His arm couldn't reach. And it has haunted me ever since. The more you talk about pizza, the more I crave it too. It's so real. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. And you stole his pizza. Listen, that's it's not it's not true. I didn't steal. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. P 
Pizza's here. Dude, the food awoke me. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this slice right here. So what happened? We called the cops. Actually, we called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Dude, I'm, am I healing? Oh, am I about to throw up? I had this dream. Or like a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Dude, my pizza. Sorry, mom. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have me drive you home. I will. May. I know. Call us. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Hey, Angus. You want a brony? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out? Oh, right. Need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Nar 3? Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Hey. They've got Wi <laughs> sorry, I need to get out of the Allen voice. They have they've got Wi Fi. Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Gonna like wander around the apartment. Can we go bed? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kid, hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Alright. See ya. Bye, germ. What the fuck is this? Oh, 
OMG, how his eye moved? Wait, who's? Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And it was... And I was really into it. Played it, like, 24-7. Germ is... His eye, like, rolled. That's so weird. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke. It was, like, pixels. Sorry. <clears throat> the characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. And I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just... Me. Alone. And, like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and, and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. And now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like, all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head and there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes just like this moving bulk of stuff and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore it was all just stuff stuff in the universe just dead wow that's huh and the next day was that softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up, and he was just shapes too, just lines someone wrote, like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry, I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat, just shapes, red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May, have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy with Dr. Hank. Oh, God, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kind of just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? <laughs> May know she's in a simulation. She sees the seams, bro, literally. Where's Tokiko? Where's Tokiko at? We need to- she needs to reach Moksha! Kinda? Sorta? It's 2.30. Maybe I should get some sleep, eh? Have a great stream, Luna. Yo, yeah, maybe you should get some sleep. Thank you for sticking around this long. I appreciate that. Good night, Dex. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue, like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time, and finally I got up the courage to leave, and I came home, where everything was fine, where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just sh just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head. In my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And, like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. 
I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry and the half dozen other things he does and maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and, like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I I thought when I came home, I just, I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days and then all this and, 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 shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know. We're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. Girl, they're sitting in this bed. No pillows. No no blankets. Just raw dogging it on the couch. <laughs> I... Dude, she was gonna say it. What are we doing? Bye, guys. Love you. Um, no, don't be saying that now. Hold on, somebody needs to wake up. Stop. Is she gonna kill herself? What did that say? In the hole? The hole in the center of everything. Oh my god, it's the fucking guy. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some... guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Nani the fuck? Film. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ugh, you shot me! And we can... <laughs> are, are we gonna go to jail for this? Or does this count as self-defense? And we can use- we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Whoa, jeez, B. Ugh! Ew! What the fuck? You okay? Where did- what are- You are such an idiot. What were you thinking, coming out here alone? This is all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume? And following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He- It- It's in my dreams. Hey. Kiddo, we're out here. Outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. To die. No, but- Oh, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Oh, that's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. And even if we weren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. A sister?! Dude! Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Dead. I can't believe they did this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. I know I'm getting pranked now. <laughs> Damn. This is fucked. This is fucked, in it? Okay. 
<laughs> we are here for you. We support you. This this is this is actually the worst thing that's happened to me. This is fucked. This is fucked in it. Damn, how am I supposed to <sighs> How am I supposed to go on, you guys? I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, <coughs> well he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. You all wait here, I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk me? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Dude. I can't believe they did this to me, though. She really said, You're like a sister to me. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? I'll start punching the wall. I'm like, I'm gonna become... I'm gonna become a, a, an angry teenage boy. I'm gonna start punching holes in my walls. <laughs> this one hurt. Listen, I, you know what I think it is? I think it's the fact that, like, you know, in any other thing, like, you know, I always joke. I'm like, oh my god, Sora and Riku are dating. This this character and this character are dating. But, like, in, like, obviously I know that that is not true. And so, like, my hope is never, e like, elevated to that point where, like, I would get heartbroken. Like, I'm not like the Destiel girlies who, like, really thought it was canon or, like, they were going to do something with it. Or, like, the Sherlock girlies with him and, like, Watson. Like, I was never that delusional. Um, but this time I was that delusional because it seemed like that's what we were doing. It seemed like we were, like, that's where we were going, that that was Endgame. I was like, oh, my God, like, Greg and Angus are dating. Like, maybe we're, we're going to date, too. Like, they're going to leave and then me and B are going to get closer and then we're going to start dating. That, that just really threw me out left field. Like, I've never had hurt like that before. I'm really hoping that that's just, like, B saying that. Because she's, she doesn't want, like... She doesn't want May to know that she likes her. And did you see, like, after B said that, like, May, like, coughed? But then she didn't cough for any other reason? I don't know, man. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stay delusional and I'm gonna hold out hope. I think I'm gonna be a believer. Yeah, I actually thought May and B were going to be a thing, literally. Like, I'm still kind of holding out hope. Maybe it's just you didn't get enough affection with B. There is still a chance. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I didn't, like, answer the things right or hang out with her. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It... To be honest, this is my first time playing through the game. I had only ever seen, like, a bit of the beginning part. So I don't actually know if this is like a multi-ending thing, if like you can have higher relationship with some people than others and that changes things. I don't actually know. I'm really just kind of like playing it blind and then maybe if we, we, if we need to go back, we will. All right, let's go do something really stupid. I think stay delusional should be the stream motto. It really is. <clears throat> no, yeah, it really is. Gates open. Same. The only thing I've ever seen of this game before was the mall scene with the water. <laughs> oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Aw, oh, dang. You're right. No. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. 
Well then, looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down there. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Come on, guys. Angus, be safe back there, buddy. It's hard being in the back of the group. Trust. Because, <clears throat> like, what if someone just snatches him? something happens to Angus, I'll cry. He's just, I, he would, he looks like he would give great hugs. I'm just sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> He's so mom friend coded. Looks like there's an elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this. Yeah, may you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. Dude, we're, we're, we're about to become ghosts. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Alright, pookies. Dude, it's about to be like Dong and Rumpa. We're about to go down to the trial room. We have Possum Springs Tourism pamphlets at the shop. And I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. <coughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not an asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. Are you going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> your final challenge. Let your big go through your phone. Oh hell no! Your ass tweaking, Kachan. All right, let's. We're so slow. Oh my god, guys! It's Minecraft. It's Minecraft. Oh my god. Me when I find somebody's uh strip mining tunnel, and I decide to follow it to see where they came from. Or where they went. Ooh. Door. Oh, sorry. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Guys, it's a little spooky. Do you think we're, like, at the end game? I don't know. Because I don't know, like, if I should stop soon, like, after this, or if it's going to end soon, I should just stick it out. Because, obviously, I don't want to, like, start the next stream of it and it be done in, like, 10, 20 minutes. This does feel like an ending, right? Aw, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. <gasps> Dude, look, it's a symbol from that girl! The star in the middle. And like... Chunk. Oh god. 
Oh god. What is it? Sorry. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Maybe go until this scene is over, and if that's not the end of the game, then save the rest for later. Yeah, I think I think I'll try to do that. Glad we have the glow of bees cigarette. And that's it. Oh, even that's gone. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh, multiple assholes. There they are. They're, they're right there. I'm gonna kill him. Eve, you will n do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the- Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he has his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much to say in whatever. Wait, so you think that Eid... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it? it? Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vess Schumer, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, a big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born, too close to the water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing, but that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared, never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed bursts through that wall and finds this place, and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. Now you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. Swat, swat brought you down here. What the? What is it? What is it? Or what does this have to do with me or anyone? You've got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone or kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Hey, yo. While well, we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. 
You finished? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, we make a little staircase. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I... I... I had explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones he takes a shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all of this. After that first time. After we picked one out. Well. Not only was the town holding stable. But it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believe you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them into the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a sham, a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Wait, you didn't pick Casey, did you? Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God. Oh, no. How many people have died down here? Casey? The Hartley kid. All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You... You killed Casey? Oh, my God. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. He had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time? His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright now, throw it down now or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods, at night, basic safety. I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home, as long as we keep doing this. Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world has built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a buried out brick box or a hole in the ground. 
But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be just... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Oh, really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially, like, or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Dude, what if my aunt's one of them? Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this... You remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that... The jobs never come back, the kids never come back... And everything crumbles... Possum Springs bleeds to death, and soon we'll all be dead, and this town will, will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave. No one's gonna stop you, but understand that you don't know who we are out there, but we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and probably get, got permanent damage. And I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ede. You don't know a thing about what he, what he wants. What he is. You know, swear to God. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get out. Let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyways. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have, I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just... Horror? That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here. Fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Mom, Dad, you would tell me if you were in a cult, right? Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey... Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Well, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... What the fuck?
Get off of me, you bitch! Oh my god, did his arm just get cut off? Holy shit. Holy shit. Is everyone okay? May? May, are you okay? May, say something. <laughs> May. Okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shit, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... It was a scout, Greg. It was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. He's one vengeful bastard. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Ew. Yep. Some, sorry, yep, some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Damn, guys, stop hauling ass. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the in, in the one foot of water. Right. What if I fall in a hole? Stop! I was kidding! <laughs> That scared me so bad. <laughs> Stop, the timing was crazy. <laughs> I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since to not be angry. It got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. <laughs> 
feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again and I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I'm something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang, hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. D did you smell that? I bet he did. Damn, dude. Who knows what's in that, that fucking cave water. Or mine water. Or whatever. Dude, convenience. Hoppies? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Hmm? Brochure. Hello? We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky and someone's out here in this- in the woods at night. Yo, Germ! Germ, are you out there? I- I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm down. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. <laughs> okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. There. Thank you, those. <laughs> okay, well. Ride those dolphins. <laughs> ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. The fact that made no sense made perfect sense coming from me. Real. She she's just she's just silly and also going through it. Oh fuck. Damn. Guys. I messed up. Don't look. Always got me doing parkour and shit. Damn. My friends are so lucky I'm a cat. Cat? Let me get to cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Oh fuck. If I fell all the way back down now, I probably would kill myself, respectfully. Uh, 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 uh. Yahoo! On the brink of death, hallucinating, doing parkour. It's such a May thing to do, to be fair. This place. Huh? 
Ooh. Hey, May. Yo, Germ! What is up, bro? I'm so happy to see you. It's like Jump King. <laughs> hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were stuck. We were all stuck down there. It, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> what are you guys doing in my backyard? <laughs> Underrated character in germ, for real. <laughs> Poor Angus. <laughs> Poor Angus Bobangus. Fee fi fo fangus. Angus. <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was that was a long way up. Listen, I took it like a champ, baby. I brought some sodas. You're the best, germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Parkour is amazing, bro. <laughs> Listen, nothing gets the blood pumping like jumping vertically. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, germ. Sorry. Thanks, germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. <laughs> We're monsters. <laughs> there goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Alright, guys. <laughs> let's go home. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. Dude, I'm so happy, actually. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. That is so true, Greg. So true. I'm also happy we murdered those people. Germ is peak. You asked him to blow up a well in his backyard and he agrees, no questions asked. Look, Germ is just a bro like that. He's like, as long as you let me come over to play that video game on your console, I will blow up my well. It's like, okay, thanks, Germ. <laughs> oh, one of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Yo, based. Angus is based. Guys, you can't hate him because he's just based. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Not the trolley problem. Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking.
Angus would make a great Batman or Punisher. <laughs> Listen, he was based, and I wish they gave us the dialogue option to, like, agree with him or disagree with him. Because I'd be like, based, Angus, yes! Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? I think my friends are all dead. Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just even happened. Easier for me to get it all out there. Okay, go for it. And I need to talk. So just, uh, hey man, don't mind me. Guys, I... I had a granola bar. And I sp spilled the crumbs on me. What the fuck? What the fuck? God damn it. I'm lit rolling myself. Because I dropped a wrapper from earlier. This is why you throw away your trash as soon as you're done with it, you guys. Because if I didn't have this old wrapper on my desk, I wouldn't have dropped fucking crumbs on me. <laughs> and I need to talk. I don't know if I even lint rolled any of them or if I just pushed it all on the floor, but whatever, I'll vacuum later. <laughs> even if you jerks are off doing whatever. Guys, how do you force yourself to read books? I feel like, I don't know, I hate, I hate, I either have to sit in my chair and read books. Sorry, this is so unrelated. Um, I think I have to sit in my chair or in my bed to read books, and it sucks. <laughs> None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but... The universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's like... It's all, like, moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of... <laughs> All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I feel... I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing out wherever you are at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it. I'd buy the tools to do it from your shop. Or, like, borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all of that. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Dude, it's not the end of the game yet. Yippee! Guys, I think we do one last <laughs> base of our favorite song. Die Anywhere Else, my favorite song to close us out for today.
Anyways, this is where we're going to end things for today. Um, spooky scary skeletons send shivers down my spine. Okay, this really does feel like the ending of the game. Maybe a conclusion chapter after this? Yeah, maybe. I think what I'll do is we'll finish whatever's left and if it's really short then we'll just switch to the next game that i have planned uh for after this game i think that'll be okay so we'll either get two games in one stream or we'll finish it out and that'll be that yeah i don't know if i believe all those guys are dead but that would be crazy if that was true because like how do we even know that they got in via that elevator they what if they have a second entrance that's what i was thinking also nothing like some trauma bonding for real i doubt they are dead though we gotta see some random dude walking around the town with one arm <laughs> i know that would be crazy and then we tackle him but he, like he's just always had one arm <laughs> it seriously looked like he was decapitated I don't think he was. I think his body slipped down, but his arm got cut off at the very least. At the worst, he would be decapitated, yeah. Again, I really hope I don't like just come in next time and it's like literally like two seconds of content and I would I would be so mad. I would like at least, if it's gonna end early, I would love it for it to be at least like 20 minutes. <laughs> Cause a nice little 20 minute like finale video on YouTube would look real nice, I think. But anyways, um, where's my mouse? I don't know. Okay. Okay, there we go. Exit. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Let me switch you guys to the ending soon screen and get you some lo-fi beats. Let's see. No, but yeah, I really like uh, Night in the Woods. It be getting wild sometimes, though. I'm like, whoa, the existentialism is crazy. Um, let's see. Should we read somebody? Let's do this person. We'll see this person. Sure. Stick around for the raid, you guys. Show some love to some other people. Next stream will be tomorrow with Plinks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, whatever the vibe takes me, I guess. Um, but yeah. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'll see ya. Oh boy, yo boy.